Even after more than a century, this technique is still used in Pakistan to produce a giant chainsaw. After placing the chainsaw mold into a pit and packing soil around it to secure it, the workers begin forming a sand mold for the other side of the saw. The sand is built up layer by layer and compacted tightly to preserve the exact shape. Once the mold is stable, the metal pattern is lifted out, and the sand surface is refined to ensure a perfect match. Inside the sand mold, clay blocks roughly the same size as the chainsaw are placed, along with several metal spacers to maintain proper gaps and clearances. The upper sand mold is then closed, completing the casting mold. Scrap iron from various components is collected and melted in a furnace. When the metal is fully molten, it is poured directly into the sand mold below. After cooling, the casting is removed and the inner sand is broken away to create a hollow structure. The frame is then taken to a lathe to remachine its surfaces and the support table is also turned flat. The worker grinds the entire frame, drills the required holes, and installs a piston push rod to align the blade. Additional components are assembled until the frame is complete. Bearings are pressed into the housings, a steel shaft is installed and firmly secured to the body, and two large wheels are mounted. Finally, the blade is installed and carefully tensioned. A guide bar is fixed in place, and the entire chainsaw is painted and finished.